Alright, so I wanted to make a little bit of a video here to touch on the new large update that came in through to uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Obviously, we've got this uh, new character, Outrider. Looks like a female character. Um, that is the Sparrow, so obviously it's a um, bow. I'm assuming that maybe it has like an explosive tip or something like that going on. Um, not a hundred percent sure. Um, yep, explosive tip. Okay. Uh, and the special issue is a pilotable drone that can be parked at strategic Overwatch positions, automatically tagged enemies when it's in its view. So pretty much portable UAV. So you can just kind of like see where people are. I'm not sure if these would be allowed to competitive. I don't see why Sparrow wouldn't be. It's sort of, I mean, it's basically a mix of like, I guess, battery and profit kind of ish. Uh, so I don't see why it wouldn't. And then, but the special issue, obviously, portable UAVs shouldn't be allowed. But you never know. They may give it a try. <laughs> Moving on. Um, I wanted to touch more on the weapons. Obviously, uh, I, I was watching, you know, some some gameplay and stuff, and some scrims and stuff like that, and I didn't see very much ICR usage. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure why. Uh, so there are new weapons, but they aren't allowed in competitive. So I'm not really going to go over them too too harshly. Uh, the, um, you know, obviously the ICR didn't get touched in the patch, so. I'm not sure if people are just, you know, maybe something that got buffed, maybe is just more relevant now. I know that the Rampart ended up getting uh, a good tuning for the max damage range to be increased by about uh, five or five points or so. So, uh, you know, that's it. That's the only real increase it got. I mean, the KN, of course, um, also got just you know a 2.1 uh, yard increase in max damage range so but I did see a lot of people using it and I'm not I think it's because of the attachments like it's got the old school attachments you know what I mean just the quick draw grip and stock obviously just the original AR attachments that you would see on most assault rifles uh, and it does sort of resemble in game more of like an AN94 vibe which I can kind of understand because that gun was awesome um i i get the elo i personally i think i might use reflex on it but uh, i do understand why people would use elo but i think i'm gonna try it with reflex um and the swordfish obviously got a bit of a touch up as well let me just find it here uh the swordfish got a good ads move speed uh you know buff which is big because that means that it almost has built-in stock, which is enormous um, for this gun. I mean, like, if this gun had stock, it would be the main gun. It's just like the M8. Um, Quick Draw 2 has improved a uh, ADS in speed. So you're looking at, like, this, this gun may be the relevant gun over the ICR at this point. Like, these two are going to be... It's going to be difficult to tell which one which one to use, um, but I am going to try them. Um, the Maddox, a lot of people thought it was going to get, you know, smacked down and, and out of the game. It I ended up not getting that. It got touched up in a lot of ways, but it is still relevant. And um, so basically the reduced recoil stability in the first five shots uh, in bullet pattern. So basically you're shooting your five shots and it's a little... A little rough around the edges, but then after that it's the same. Echo Fire Operator mod got touched up, uh, improved recoil stability. Of course, you can't use that in competitive, so it's not really relevant for this video necessarily. Quick Draw 1, reduced ADS in speed. Quick Draw 2, reduced ADS in speed. You absolutely have to use both Quick Draws now. There is no excuse. You cannot use just one. Uh, stock was reduced ADS move speed. So again, you absolutely must. You cannot go without stock on this gun, and you still may get screwed over because of it, which is, I think, why a lot of people are sort of seeing if they can replace it with the KN, which maybe, maybe. Um, the ELO got reduced recoil stability. So uh, again, 
so pretty much you probably should get used to using reflex at this point because the first patch they did on that wasn't it didn't do much to elo I'm, I'm not gonna switch it right now uh, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna try it with elo still I want to see the difference but if it is a big difference you may actually need to start getting used to using red dot on this gun or switch to the KN and you can use elo on that um, and obviously on console only they got it got a uh, uh, three or what is that three point two three point two yard decrease in its max damage range interesting so basically there is no uh, range increase on this gun so that actually may fuck with it a little bit but three, I mean three yards isn't the end of the world I mean it, it can come down to that in a few gunfights but it, mostly I, I don't know it, it's gonna be interesting it's still 20 yards you know what I mean you still have a 20 yard radius where you can kill people in uh, I think it's like five bullets or something like that so that's still that's still plenty you know what I mean this all all they're doing is making this gun a little bit more close ranged uh, and it's still a higher yard max damage than the KN is now the KN is only 17.3 whereas this is still 20 so there I think I think they made this gun more viable but this gun is still very good. Uh, not, it's not dead. It's not a dead gun. I don't think, I don't think that was their aim either. I think they're trying to make every gun viable. They're trying to make it so that there isn't a like any gun in the game that you can't use, um, and it should just be preference. Uh, On to the SOG. The SOG. I was scared for the SOG. I love this gun. I, I mean, anyone who watches this channel knows most of the clips I get for my competitive highlights and stuff is the SOG. So I saw this reduced sprint out speed. Okay. So, but it, it does say now the same as other SMGs. So with that in mind, the only gun that's really gonna probably have gun it at a close range like that would would probably be um, the Spitfire because everything else shoots slower maybe the maybe the cordite but i mean the cordites the cordite's one of those guns where if i'm gonna use a gun that has the recoil this gun has and shoots as fast as this gun does the spitfire wins every time i'm gonna use the, the spitfire i mean it's just better <laughs> um and then of course the saw got uh reduced base move speed so now the same as other smgs so pretty much um, I can kind of appreciate that. Like, it shouldn't it shouldn't have been faster to begin with. An SMG speed should be matched. Like, no matter what SMG you're using. So I can appreciate that actually. So and then so of course stock one got reduced ADS move speed. So stock two also got reduced ADS move speed. So you absolutely must run stock two. I know it's a gentleman's agreement right now in competitive to not use it but at this point you absolutely must use it otherwise the submachine gun players will not have a chance especially those who are players like myself who uh, left stick adjust when they're aiming um, so I mean you can't take that away at this point <laughs> like it's just not fair for the for the submachine gun players so stock 2 is a must and I mean they do have to sacrifice something, right? If they do end up running stock 2, they either have to use just quick draw, which should sacrifice better aim, so they won't be able to map you as like an AR player, uh, or they have to sacrifice quick draw, and they must go with grip, which again leaves them in a situation where they may get outgunned by other submachine gun players or Maddox is close range, so them having to choose, I think is, is payment enough for them to be able to, you know, sacrifice something and also there is the chance of course they could use ev like all four attachments but then they have to get rid of lightweight or dexterity uh, especially with the pro league and stuff where they have to use like tack mask and flak jacket or whatever uh, and they can't use these two you know what I mean that leaves them in a situation where they absolutely have to use only three attachments so realistically I think this these three attachments are the way to go uh, you know what I mean like just learn your recoil on the gun and you're pretty much solid. I mean, you'll see later in gameplay. I'm sure I'm just shoot this gun perfectly straight. Um, 
obviously the grip on the gun reduced the recoil stability i could always shoot this gun without grip i only used grip because it was just easier like you know what i mean uh because i i i was fine with stock one i didn't need stock two on it i actually found stock two was too much so i would just use grip for the hell of it um so it doesn't really bother me um too too much um and then of course dual wield got touched up with a bunch of stuff again dual wheels not relevant to this video so the, the mx9 people thought that was going to be the main gun it is definitely usable so basically what happened to it it got an increased five hit kill range from 5.5 yards to 7.6 yards and improved ads in speed which is good because it doesn't have quick draw inherently as an attachment so that's kind of makes this gun viable again i think that's what they're going for they're trying to make everything viable the gks increased five uh kill hit range from 2.7 yards which is trash to 5.5 yards excuse me uh she's really slow it's pretty much if you put like a red dot or an elo on it it kind of resembles like an mp5 uh so i mean it very accurate gun kind of more of a right stick adjuster player gun maybe i mean you could probably outgun ars with this thing i've seen it happen this gun's really good um spitfire got reduced max max damage from 9.7 yards jesus to uh 7.6 yards you're going to be playing close with this gun anyway so that's not really relevant stock reduced ads move speed holy crap that's kind of big uh this gun didn't even have that great of a stock to begin with so well that kind of like takes that out of the equation Extended mags got reduced magazine size. I use fast mags anyway, but fast mags also got reduced reload speed enhancement. So Wow, I don't even know what you would use in this gun um, And you would think you'd replace it with the cordite, but the cordite got uh, Grip reduced recoil stability. So you're actually probably going to be able to shoot this gun straighter than the cordite <laughs> um, so uh, I don't know it, it it's interesting I think everything's viable. I think everything is viable. Um, there's, you pretty much can't judge anyone for using any gun. They can use whatever the hell they want at this point. Um, the, the auger got increased ADS move speed, as well as uh, increased or er, improved um, firing speed. So that alone makes this basically the FAL from Black Ops Two. And I can see this being either banned or GA'd in future competitive endeavors because this gun is going to be disgusting, uh, like as if it wasn't already. <laughs> um, the ABR got increased ADS move speed, and I think it does have stock. I may be wrong about that. Uh, and it got improved sprint out speed, so could be viable. Uh, and we already talked about this gun. So increase ADS move speed and increase ADS in speed with quick draw two. So honestly, between these two, I would personally go with the swordfish because it does have a four bullet, uh, you know, shot, and it also shoots a lot faster than this gun. This gun kind of shoots a little slow. Uh, and then of course this gun is just going to be broken. It's basically the FAL. So feel free to use that and smoke people with it until it gets banned. But I don't want to get used to something that's likely to be removed and competitive. So, um, as for the main ARs, I, I'm going to try them out. But the the Maddox, Vapor, KN are still extremely usable. But they're all basically the same gun. They're all basically the same gun. So, if you still want to use the Maddox, feel free. If you like this or this better, feel free. <laughs> like... Just keep in mind, this is the only one of them that, or the this is the only one of them that doesn't have grip. So if you're gonna use the vapor, uh, either learn the recoil pattern or choose your gunfights wisely. Um, of course, you know what I mean. These two are gonna be like battling it out, I guess, to see which one's better. Uh, the rampart, I think, is a little better. Still doesn't quite compete with the ICR long range, but from like a medium range, you're probably winning with the Rampart because it does kill faster. Uh, I suppose. I don't know. It's hard to choose. This, I mean, the ICR didn't get touched at all, so I don't know. Let's hop into a free for all and find out. I do want to start it with the Swordfish. Uh, I want to test this gun out a lot. 
because if it is relevant so you're still pretty fucking slow like that's one thing I did notice about black Ops, this black ops game like a lot of the stuff perks attachments uh, even even their buffs and nerfs are very faint and slight like it, it doesn't it almost it almost makes no difference um, mind you I think you probably move slower with the ICR so this gun may be more relevant you really have to like obviously you can see I'm like not very good with it so you really have to get better with it and improve and um, but I'm sure if someone really practice with this gun only like you you could get amazing with it for sure like no doubt um, right so the RK7 garrison got increased at uh, all damage ranges so let's give it a try I do think this gun shoots a little slow compared to the other RKs and other oh never mind wait that's an increased speed between a hundred percent I remember this gun being slow as shit oh uh, I don't know that it's gonna beat like a, a Mozu or whatever. Um, I doubt it. Like, I would probably still use a Mozu. Let's try the Maddox. I'm actually genuinely curious about the whole recoil thing. If I can still control it, uh, what's really different about it and everything. So, let's let's have. Okay, I thought the fire rate decreased on it. Um, I don't know, the gunfights that you get in with this gun, or that I get in with this gun, I feel like aren't relevant to be, sh you know, having to shoot extremely straight or anything. Um, like, I don't force gunfights against the assault rifle, like, or against, um, ICRs or anything crazy. So, like, I don't know, I do want to try it, though, so let me try and get in a gunfight that so sort of requires a bit of control here. I can just try shooting it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's noticeable for sure. But, I don't know. Like, I'm actually, like, mm, I'm curious about the red dot on it. If that would make a huge difference or not. I'm, I'll try that afterwards. Okay, so right off the bat, I do notice less recoil. It's like, I'm not going to lie. Um... The first patch they did that apparently made the ELO have like more recoil and stuff, I did not notice it. But I mean, look at the difference. I mean, the f like again, the first few shots or whatever, a little rough, but like it's definitely better than ELO. Like, it's still not an AR. You again, you shouldn't be taking crazy long range gunfights with this gun. But it is definitely better. To shoot like with with the red dot, then um, then the elo. Again, it it depends on the type of player you are. Like I, I'll probably use it with the elo. I I don't know. I don't know. I I'll probably try it out with the red dot for a little bit and then. After enough gunfights where it annoys me because I wish I had an ELO or something like that, if that happens, then I'll probably switch back. Um, because, honestly, the ELO, the type of player I am, I get in a lot of this type of gunfights. <laughs> so, the ELO would help me better to be able to see more, uh, than, you know, more of what I'm shooting at, versus, um, versus the red dot. But... If I get used to the red dot, I feel like it wouldn't make a difference. I'm going to be honest. So, probably, if you're like a really, really, really competitive player, and you use the Maddox a lot, I would I would just use red dot. Like, if I was a Maddox player and stuff like that, I would just straight up, I would use red dot. No, no hesitation. Uh, let's move on to the KN. I'm trying to get through this quickly. I don't want this to be too long. Um, we're already getting there a little bit. But, anyway, uh, so the, K the KN... Okay, so it does have a slower rate of fire, which does make a difference as to which one I would choose to use. Uh, the recovery time seems to be a little bit slower as well, obviously, with Quick Draw 2 on the Maddox. So, for the style of gameplay the Maddox has, this gun would not be able to compete. But, 
against a vapor or something like that, this gun would would win every time for sure. Like the way I'm killing right now is significantly faster. Um, the recovery time is about the same as the KN. Fire rate's about a little bit, maybe a little faster than the uh, a little faster than the uh, Maddox. Oh wow. Um, okay. I don't have stock two on right now. And the reason why is because it was reduced, and I feel like this gun, if you just use stock one with long barrel, you're pretty good. Like you don't really have, you don't need to be able to strafe super fast, because the playstyle of most subs or ARs nowadays, like a lot of them aren't strafing fast anyway. So if you're if you're using stock or stock one, you're you're fine. Um, but yeah, no, no, no. This thing definitely probably matches the kill time of the, um, this, okay, yeah, the Mozu's for sure better, but, um, yeah, I don't know, the Vapor probably matches the kill time of the KN, I would say. So, finally, let's go to the SOG, try and make this a little quick, uh, right, so, there was a few things reduced on the SOG, obviously. Uh, not using grip is going to make it a little bit harder to shoot long range. I, I mean, I never really took, again, with this gun, same as the Maddox, I never really took super, like, if I see that they have a Maddox or if they have a um, ICR, I'm going to try and force a gunfight like this one. Like, I'm not going to challenge that car heady with the, with the SOG, obviously. Um... Let's do one more round with the SOG. I do want to, I do want to give it a real solid try here. I, I, I think, I think it's fine. I honestly, I think it's fine. Yeah, I don't think you need grip on it really. Like you shouldn't be take, as a sub player, you shouldn't be able to take those gunfights that were, you know, some SOGs were winning before anyway. Like I do like when there's like a large difference between types of players. Like I. I would much rather the ARs be able to destroy me at a range, but I can always destroy them from close up, so I kind of appreciate that. Um, yeah, no, I'm fine with this gun still. I'm good. Like, you can tell the recovery time's a little slower, but I'm still good with it. I, I'm not I'm not going to complain. I think, l like I said, I think they're just making trying to make everything as viable as possible. So, and I think they did a really good job at that, actually. Um, I'm probably still going to use the Maddox. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very, very longer than I thought it would be, but uh, very basic points to make. Basically, nothing's changed. I mean, things have changed, but the guns, all they've done is added more guns to your arsenal. You can use whatever the fuck you want. So, have at it. <laughs> um, but, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, peace.